Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the solution for the given partial differential equation. This is of the form capital P into small p plus capital Q into small q equal to capital R. So we are going to rewrite this to exactly this form. So it is y square plus z square into p. So from this, we can understand what is capital P. In the same way, plus minus xy in a bracket then into q. So we can understand what is capital Q and this term let us take to the other side as minus xz. So we can understand what is r. So capital P is y square plus z square. Capital Q is minus xy and capital R is minus xz. To get the solution, we have to solve dx by capital P equal to dy by capital Q equal to dz by capital R. Now, this is dx by y square plus z square which is equal to dy by minus xy which is equal to dz by minus xz. Now, taking the last two terms, we get dy by minus xy equal to dz by minus xz. Both the sides we can cancel minus x and now we have variable separable form. So, we are going to integrate on both the sides. That is y terms on one side and z terms on the other side. On integration, this is log y equal to log z plus log c1. Since all are log, the constant is taken as log c1. Now, using the log rule, we get log a plus log is log a b. So, this is z into c1. Now, removing log, we get y is equal to z into c1. And from this, y by z is c1. Now, if I take the another pair, it is not possible to integrate. So, here we are going to use the multiplier. So, using Lagrange's multiplier, I am going to multiply first term with x, then second term with y and third term with z because after multiplication it is possible to get 0 for the denominator's term when we take the summation. So, let us take the terms as it is. Now, we are using the multiplier x. So, we have to multiply in the numerator as well as in the denominator. Then y. Here and here, we have to multiply. Then here, it is z. So, into z. Now, using the properties of the ratio, we are going to add all the numerators together. That is, x dx plus y dy plus z dz. Then, the denominator we are going to add. While adding itself, I write this in the expanded form. x y square plus x z square. And this is minus x y square and this is minus x z square. So, here we notice x y square positive negative, x z square positive negative. So, totally it is 0. So, x dx plus y dy plus z dz whole division 0. Now, as usual, we take the first term and this last term together. That is, leave the multiplier. Take dx by y square plus z square equal to x dx plus y dy plus z dz whole division 0. Now, when we cross multiply, this entire term will be multiplied with 0. So, other side is completely 0. We get x dx plus y dy plus z dz equal to 0. 
and we integrate this on both the sides. This is x square by 2 plus y square by 2 plus z square by 2 equal to the constant C2. Now we take LCM. So x square plus y square plus z square whole division by 2 is C2. From this x square plus y square plus z square equal to 2c2. This we take it as a constant b and c1 as the constant a. Now using this a and b we are going to write the general solution and the general solution is f of c1 comma c2 since we have 2c2 here we are taking it as the constant b. So now replace a which is y by z and b which is x square plus y square plus z square equal to 0. So we got the general solution for the given partial differential equation by using the Lagrange's multiplier method.